comes to saving lives, anything less than excellence is unacceptable. Since 1982, Survival Systems has been driven by its purpose to enhance and preserve workers' lives through safety education, training technologies, and applied research and development. A study of U.S. Navy helicopter ditchings involving 1,093 occupants revealed that survival rates for those who'd received underwater escape training was 91% compared to 66% for those who hadn't. The study resulted in mandatory training for the U.S., Canadian and British navies as well as other NATO country air crews. Shortly after, mandatory training was extended to the offshore oil industry. In 1987, Survival Systems answered the call for a realistic underwater ditching simulator with its breakthrough Modular Egress Training Simulator, also known as the MEPS. Since then, the original model has been constantly refined and more than 10 different variants have been produced to seamlessly recreate the experience of underwater ditching in a myriad of aircraft and more recently for land vehicle rollover training. This dedication to safety and realism has earned survival systems high profile customers around the world, unequaled respect in their field and the attention of prominent scientific journals. Survival Systems couldn't be more proud of the most recent addition to the Mets family, the H-6 Little Bird, named for the U.S. Army's light observation helicopter it simulates. Little Birds are one of the most versatile aircraft flying today. However, the crew are at great risk from drowning in the event of ditching, prompting the need for specific training solutions. The Little Bird METS represents the world's most advanced achievement in helicopter underwater escape training technology. Never has there been a simulator created with a level of accuracy in terms of aircraft structure and realistic crash scenario design variations. Inside the cockpit, we have all of the flight controls and all of the physical features that will either assist or be a problem for the flight crew getting out. Um, we included things like the flight controls. This is the collective pitch control, the cyclic pitch control. We have a little handle down here which controls some electronics on the helicopter. It's a snag hazard. If this pilot here, for example, cannot get out this exit, then we do what we call a cross-cockpit cross exit. So he'll have to move across the cockpit and overcome all of these little obstacles on his way out. Survival Systems has based its business on the knowledge that increased realism in training translates to more lives saved. As part of this ongoing journey to perfection, the Little Bird was born. If you'd like to find out more about Survival Systems Little Bird Mets or our other simulators and award-winning programs, please visit us at www.survivalsystemsgroup.com.